dear sisters and brothers in Christ in order to understand well the gospels we cannot treat each incident and each statement in a separate way they are to be understood in relation with each other jesus has not given his instructions without any connection among them moreover all that jesus said had connections with his own life therefore his words help us to be in communion with him and the communion with jesus is either total or non existent from this totality is not excluded the journey towards the passion as for the disciples this journey was quite important in fact the behavior of the disciples after the second and third passion predictions was quite unexpected and immature hence the instruction of jesus in that respect is of great importance and both of them are of the same nature after the second prediction of the death and resurrection of jesus the discussion among the disciples was as to who was greatest among them the text comes in mark chapter 9 verses 30 to 32 jesus then reacts to their behavior and tells them if anyone wishes to be first he shall be last of all and servant of all this is mark 9:35 It's after the third passion prediction that today's gospel passage comes. Mark chapter 10 verses 35 to 45. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, approach Jesus and they request Jesus that when he would assume his glory, they should be placed at his right and left sides. Jesus reaction is exactly the same as he did after the second prediction when the disciples decided to be great among themselves he said whoever wishes to be great among you will be your servant whoever wishes to be first among you will be the slave of all this is chapter 10 verses 43 and 44 in the interest for success and honor emerge the indiscriminate aspirations and egoism of the disciples in principle jesus does not reject the aspirations and interests of the disciples jesus does not want followers who are tired inactive without energy etc what jesus wishes to indicate is the right motive or perspective of these aspirations These aspirations should help the disciples eventually to be in union with him. If anyone wishes to be great and first, he should become the last and servant of all. That is the only real prestige and greatness. To be first and to be the last and servant of all are inseparably connected. Only in this way one can speak of greatness. Service is the only criterion for true greatness and true success in the perspective of Jesus. If one follows Jesus, the one who serves will be the first among all. Such an instruction of Jesus is radically opposed to the spontaneous aspirations and desires of the disciples. It involves renouncing of oneself. If becoming the first is actually becoming the last it involves an inversion of values or so to say a conversion the disciples aspire for the first two seats on the right and left Jesus immediately says one can be first only if one is ready to occupy the last two seat and be ready to serve all at the same time The service which Jesus requests of his disciples is not the service of a slave. The slave serves as he is forced to do it. The slave's service is on account of pressure from outside. But the service which Jesus means is service which comes from inside. It's a service done 
as self giving its service done on account of love towards others an example of it can be the case of the mother in law of peter after she was cured of her fever by jesus she rose up and served all mark 1:31 it's a kind of service which takes to heart the good of others in this service there will be the whole heart and soul place before others it will be a service offered to all that is servant of all a disciple of jesus cannot select the person he will serve according to his choice and convenience everyone he encounters will be served by the disciple of jesus everybody has right over him that he should become his servant the fact that this teaching is repeated by jesus that is said twice as we have heard makes it quite important again this service which the disciple of jesus will give include both near and far ones one cannot say that he is serving the far away ones while neglecting the near ones the love and service of the near one or the neighbor cannot be substituted by love of the far away ones in fact this teaching of jesus is much in opposition to the general practice of men and women that's why jesus says you know that those who are recognized as rulers over the gentiles lord it over them and the great ones make the authority over them felt but it shall not be so among you mark chapter 10 verses 42 and 43 s yes, as for jesus disciples this is a new teaching and a new perspective now the advice to be servant of all is in accordance with the lifestyle of jesus and it's part of imitating jesus for jesus says for the son of man did not come to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many mark chapter 10 verse 45 to serve and to serve as the last one is not based on any law but on the example of christ since jesus has served his disciples should imitate him without service there is no communion of life between jesus and the disciple jesus is the one who offered himself totally for others for men and women jesus offered himself as a self gift as a servant of yahweh that's the lesson we get from the first reading today isaiah 53 verses 10 and 11 he offered himself becoming one with us as a human person and that's the lesson given to us in the second reading today from hebrews chapter 4 verses 14 to 16 dear friends in today's gospel jesus invites us to become servants of all by our self gift and thus achieve greatness when we are ready to do so we will be emulating jesus who offered his life as a ransom for many amen